This video is intended for adults and children upwards the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on people? Welcome back to the Nerd Crate. Your Nerdism fix for today is a true classic in the Transformers fandom. Masterpiece Smokescreen. How does he fare up? Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So for those people that didn't watch my little Friday video, Happy New Year. Happy I'm back here. I kind of missed this. Like it's my little Sunday session here. I do a little review and uh, it gives it gives the Sunday a little bit of purpose, I gotta say, because otherwise you know how it goes. You 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 Sunday, right? Sunday. You sit on the couch, you binge a series, you at the at the very Max, you, you, you cook something, right? Otherwise you, you order takeout. <laughs> so, uh, so I enjoy that, I really do. So uh, I hope you had, a, you had a good way into 2020, uh, did some partying, but maybe not too party hard. And uh, just, just a little bit of, uh, of house cleaning I wanna do uh, before, a little bit of household. Um, guys, I had 300 subscribers, I'm super happy. Thank you very much for that, so. Uh, it was a long time coming. Uh, I almost kind of thought it would never happen, but uh, there's still there's still some movement into this. So um, thank you very much. Otherwise, I hope you remember that uh, Voice of Chaos on Tuesday is back, but of course um, not on my channel anymore. We're gonna do it completely in German now over at the Collectors Bay. So if you want to leave a sub and still check it out, be in the live chat you're gladly invited there. So with this now, gets, let's get to our program for today. My little gift I got from Dan of Sentinel Bay Reviews, Masterpiece Smokescreen. Um, it's a favorite of mine, actually. I wanted to have this guy for so long, and I don't know, I kind of chickened out on buying him. Uh, I wanted to have him together with Inferno all the time but the prices for both together weren't just too good. And um, I don't know, like I said, I chickened out. So uh, I got them last year for my last birthday or for my past birthday. And uh, I got Dan Kazuya and uh, my Storm Collectibles. And we, we didn't expect this from, from the other guy, but uh, we grew pretty close over the year and now having our little, our little channel. So, uh, I was, I was pretty happy. It was in the package when I uh, asked him to send me his tarn, which in turn was my prior tarn by Master My Creations, to have the comparison corner with Flame Toys and Iron Factory and the MMC one complete. So uh, uh, yeah, he said, yeah, you check out that package and then we're talking. <laughs> Opened it up and that was in there. And I'm, I was super happy and he got it with a, with a coin. Uh, from uh, Garrett Camaro, very cool uh, Netherlandian shop, like uh, Dutch. Dutch is the word. I don't know if today is the best day to talk English. But <laughs> it was a Dutch. It was a Dutch shop. So, nevertheless, let's get into it. The box, classic Transformers masterpiece with smoke screen in bot and car mode. Officially licensed Nissan Project Takara and everything else. Rotated to the left. Nice shot of him holding his blaster, targeting something with all the logos you need. Again, rotated to the left, we have his car mode, a 280Z T, Nissan Fair Lady, very important. Um, a picture with Optimus Prime, MP10 back then, of course, and also how he fits inside MP10's trailer. A little bit on the accessory side, also what's in there, a little bit of a of a bio, I think, but um, it's all in Japanese. Again, rotated to the left, uh, but horizontally, the, his car mode, and again, the logos. And on the top, we got, as everywhere else, the nice Transformers masterpiece, uh, partially varnished in chrome, and the lower side, all the, all the cautionary messages and uh, well, this is an officially licensed product and what else. So um, it's a full package. It's a lot, uh, but small, holds everything safe. And for everything else now, you know what comes, right? 
Man, oh man, this is a different view. Like, when do I get everything in my little top down? <laughs> but here is everything. So uh, let's start with the little collector coin, which is optional. We got smoke screens, car front, done almost the same as the real car. Pretty cool with uh, all, this, all this printed or even, even lacquered with red, black and the intakes. Transformers, smoke screen. On, on the back we get that uh, checkered stuff, almost like carbon with the coin shining through. And we open it up and you can fold it all outside and have the coin with Autobots here, it looks pretty nice and the actual coin and you can also get it out there but in turn to do that you essentially need to destroy the packaging destroying as in you need to rip this stuff out but it goes actually pretty okay you can get this out it's done it's hold, held in there with scotch tape and uh, it, it's it's held it's held pretty securely um, but not too damn hard to have a problem getting it all out so um, you can then fold this back up and store it wherever you like. And here we come to the coin. Beautiful. Again, of course, since it's my household with some additional cat hair. Um, but it's cool. I like it. I enjoy these pieces. I don't know what about those new pins on the new masterpieces, but I think those are those are super cool with this face. Transformer, small screen, all this light silver gray and uh, darker on the inside. And on the on the on the back side we have like yeah it's almost like a rim you could say so that's so that's very cool i i enjoy these pieces uh, i have a i have a hard time now actually uh having an idea where to put it but um i'll make it work next up we got the usual instructions which give us a little bit of a cartoon look up there uh, history on smoke screen, history on the Nissan Valley 280ZT, uh, all the views from bot and vehicle motors, and also some extras how to attach the little weapons. We'll get to that, and also the gun below there, and the full transformation on the backside. What's a masterpiece without a thin, fiddly card? Nothing. So, yeah, we got the cardboard. Collector card, I think this could actually be stored into a folder pretty nice, but uh, front art looks nice. Back to photos and some tech specs. We're almost at robot mode, we almost did it. So uh, it comes with three guns. We got these two, they can be stored in his neck in robot mode and his hood in car mode. Uh, silver painted, nice enough details. They look the same on both sides and comes with his blaster. Um, also the same mode on, on both sides and essentially it's the same as on as on all Datsun bots and um, they're attached via these two slots in car mode where you can store these two you just simply put it in and this blaster you just unclip this handle fold it around and then you need to open up the roof. In order to do that, you just start a transformation. You pull the arms out, press from the lower side, pull this out, and then you have this red portion below that you can even grab with your fingers. You got that, and then you push this back in, push all of this back in, finalize the car transformation and then you can push this is rather hard it doesn't quite lock in like the actual handle this locks in this doesn't this is loose so uh, make sure you have it grabbed on the rear here and push there this way it works and like I showed you you can push these guns in the, t in the front too but uh, yeah, if you want to do this uh, overwhelmingly weaponed up motors, you can do that too, but uh, it's ridiculous. And he also holds the gun with this usual pack port system from the masterpieces. You need to jam it in there, just sideways and then roll it in there. 
close the hand holds just fine so let's talk about the car he is intended to be a accurate nissan fair lady 280 zt modified to look like a electromotive datsun 280zx turbo so uh it's done pretty accurate of course not with all the uh with all the correct um licensors and sponsors but uh it's a it's a cool looking car i really enjoy him little 360 where you can check out all the nooks and crannies and what he's looking like all around um painted head to toe really painted head to toe he looks he looks superb um i always love this alternate mode also uh, i was happy when i think he was in the movie 86 when they all transformed right at least he wasn't lying on the ground with with wind charger and wheel jack so uh i think i think that's nice but uh let's check out some details very cool front we have like silver headlights in the middle transparent on the outside looks cool beautiful paint job all the red overall looks looks amazing absolutely does uh that's an z on the front here autobot symbol hawk disturbance on the side the blue goes all around no chippage on mine white below here a little bit chipping on the black here i see just that and uh, 38 defcon oil smoke tactics that's pretty cool like uh, uh his, his his signature attack which is which is pretty cool and uh his uh straight line turning and brake lights look superb too um we see a little bit of inside workings in here but it's not too much um, they did a great job of hiding it with some uh, smoked semi transparent windows that looks really awesome on the back the same fools it pretty well i think and uh, goes all around we have no uh, mirroring i don't know surface like chrome stuff on the rear view mirrors but um, that's a little that's a little something i can i can forgive so that's not a problem closes off pretty awesome even if you put out the adapter for the gun like i showed you and uh, below is pretty clean pretty clean uh we little see a little bit on his on his thighs on the hips and the hands and lower arms full arms to be exact but um i think i think it looks good i think it looks good it can fool the the eye if you want it like if you squint you think like ah, what, are, what are those but um i think that's pretty cool i like it it's a neat little car really really cool in order to transform him you rotate him down you pull this whole arm package out they tend to split but it's not it's not it's not bad they they, they split either way then you open up the roof and you pull all of this out at this point all of this breaks free already you can then also already pull the doors out there are packs on the side here you just pull and you can then already also rotate the head out it's not being held there what holds the head there are these side panels of the car which you unclip fold it on the inside and there's this double jointed arm and this way you can push these little armatures in here you do those on both sides collapse the double joint a little bit and put it in here and this way you have the head rather secure angle the doors backwards and then you can flip all of this down already this way and while you're at it you can fold out the arms rotate this up and this up same on the other side fold out fold out rotate upside rotate upside and then you can position this bring the arms down rotate it counterclockwise and then you have this come to the back you flip this completely out for a signature look you need these armatures also on the outside so flip these out flip this on the inside bring it up then we have this piece 
which is also sometimes a little problem, but it worked on mine after I gave it some power. You flip this out just the tiniest bit, maybe a millimeter, and then you bring this down and you use some force so it tucks in. Because if you don't use the force, you will have this roof tucked in with these pegs in here and this always will lift up the front. That's what I had at the first time I transformed him, but otherwise it works like this. So uh, that's his upper body. Then you rotate the waist 180. Split Come on. the legs and you take these guys to the back. Come on. Easier when you first pull these out, but I didn't have a grip on that. So that you have these pulled out like so. Come to the side, come to the front, jam your finger in this little gap and bring this whole arm. Looks super easy, right? It essentially is, but it's a weird joint. So we'll do that again, just so you see it. Bring this back so that it's tucked in and then you jam your finger in here and pull this just out. That's the easiest way. And then you decombine or wars the leg. So you uncollapse the thigh from this part. You take this, flip it out, then you essentially have the foot, bring the side window out, bring this in, bring this out as a heel spur, and you're in business for the first leg. Same on the other side, meaning finger in here, pull it out, pull it down. Decombine or worse, the leg, like the thigh was in here. Bring this window back, it already was there. You have this little covering piece, you bring this here. You flip this to the back as the heel spur. Align everything a bit better. And then we take these guys and those plug in to these portions here and flip down on both sides. And here we got smokescreen in his alternate, uh, in his robot mode, the alternate mode. I mean, essentially this should be the ultimate aid mode, right? Kind of? No, anyway, anyway. Uh, this is how he's supposed to look, and I think he's looking glorious. I think the colors pop very well, and uh, I think, oh, this doesn't quite, there it is. Didn't quite peg it. Uh, he looks, he looks tremendous. I really, I really enjoy this guy. Like, I love the Datsun mode. It's a little bit dated, like with the, with the, with the see-through parts here and the hollowness on the on the back here, but um, I think I think he's super cool. I think he looks super cool. I really enjoy him. And like I said, colors super nice. We have blue, yellow, silver, and blue for the eyes on the head. The silver guns we already talked about. The blue, white, and red comes through nicely from the car mode. We have uh, non-painted blue shoulders, arms, and hands. Doors are nice from the alternate mode. Simple black abdomen and thigh, uh, silver on the legs, and the other colors come through again nicely from the car mode. Red, white, blue, with the brake and directional lights. And yeah, that's him from the back. Short 360, you can stop wherever you like and uh, check out any nook and cranny, whatever you want before we head over to articulation. I think he's a cool bot. He's, uh, he's Transformers 101 together with Prowl and Streak, Blue Streak, Silver Streak, call him whatever you like. And um, he's coming soon as a more toy accurate or tune accurate colored version. Um, but uh, same as with Bumblebee. Same as with Hound. Hound also super cartoon accurate, but um, I think I think he's he's perfect. I think he's really perfect. Like a little dated. Like I said, they could could do a little something else with the with the with the legs here, but uh, I think he works. Um, for articulation, we have the head on a. That's uh, only a swivel. Doesn't give him that much up. 
zero down uh, all around. That works well. Of course, you need to fiddle around with the guns here, but uh, works either way. No app crunch. This is from another age. So uh, there's that. You get the arms up this high. And if you bring the doors out of the way, you can do a full 360. Um, thigh, swivel, elbow, stubble jointed. We have the standard masterpiece hands, which are on a as on a pin, not a mushroom pack. And we have the usual typewriter kind of hands, which give you, uh, you, can, you can do a fist, you can do it a little bit pose. So it's not, it's not the most basic. So there's that. Waist swivel, works a charm. We have articulated hip flaps to the sides, nothing on the front, but it doesn't need it. We have the side split and the front split working pretty nice. Uh, thigh swivel built around the universal joint. That's good. And we have, yeah, essentially we have, essentially this is the knee. So we have a single jointed. This is that. But we have the transformation joint here. So essentially he gets a double jointed for the full run. So that works. I always, I think that's pretty cool when you have the opportunity to activate transformation joints to actually get some more movement out of him. Like also with this here, you have the transformation joint is below here and that also gets you all the uh, the articulation for this. Like you get, you get a good rocker, it's a little bit sideways, but it's still, it still works. Like nothing, like really, really straight, a straight motion, you got nothing, but in this motion you get a, you get a rocker and then you can fake it till you make it. Front swivel, back swivel, nothing on the toe and the little heel is transformation wise articulated so um, that's dope i think he's cool i think he's just gonna wander into my little into my little uh, cool bot shelf because i don't quite have the place in my actual masterpiece shelf like uh, could go in the middle somewhere there or up there but um it's a little pretty fixed so let's check out in the back what few poses he can hold, just a few, maybe, maybe we try running, we try the usual running and then we will also do a little comparison, I think also with Prowl, right? So we head on back. So I put his little gun in his hand already because I want to show you something that's pretty cool. Even though he's super wide built, you can actually have him hold the gun while it actually stays in his hand with both hands like super Cybertronian war. Like I really, I really think that's a pretty cool pose already. I think you could, you could wonder in my shelf. I think that's pretty nice, but um, also possible, hopefully, I tried this the first time, should be a running pose. Like when you put this, oh yeah, that's could, this could be cool. If this actually works, Let's try a little different of a running pose this time. Ah, it's a little loose, but with a little bit of a, of a counterweight and stuff, it could maybe. Ah, ah, I don't think so. I don't think so. This is, this is the tolerance that I would have needed, you know, this piece over here, but then you tilts to the front so uh, this would look cool but you would need a flight stand for this so uh, sadly he doesn't hold a running pose you can't have it all you can't have it all otherwise he's still very cool articulated like poses come poses come super easy you see that even though he told it you know he's still he still hold it, so um, I think that's that's super nice. Or also, you see how easy this goes, right? Like it's those older masterpieces, like after MP1, really did the trick. So I think that's cool. But of course, let's straighten him out, and we, we keep it Autobot today, right? We keep it Autobot today. So his brother, fellow Dutson bot Prowl. Um, 
you see you see so many similarities but um they just work and what are the autobots without optimus prime mp10 here um way older design um yeah but i think i think it still works i think he's still a super nice bot and um he went into my cool bot shelf too but um that's not all for the people that enjoy the legend scale transformers reviews on my channel generation toys build a figure optimus prime from their transform mission havoc set so a uh, good bit taller and <laughs> yeah that's a pretty cute prime there <laughs> yeah guys so that's that so there you go guys masterpiece number 19 smoke screen oldie but a goldie uh, a lot of stars in there but i i thought about it and i think it just works like he is old he now is old but it just works it really works and i can't i can't tell anything like like on the packaging few things i want to tell you on the packaging it's of course still the cardboard box with everything unchanged but what is cool about the old boxes like in comparison to what i said before there could be some change is if they change it up you don't have this library anymore now you put this on the front essentially of course the format is all different some are bigger than others but you have this and you get a catalog slash library if you want it that way in your shelf where you store it I think that's super cool. I think that's super cool. Apparently, overall, it's a premium piece. Accessories, nothing that doesn't make sense. Of course, on the new uh, 19 Plus, they, they gave him the, the, the smoke clouds, you know, so um, they could have done that. But um, it's nothing that I would really play with because I also have my, 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 my little effect pieces. You can get that from Tamashi Nations. I showed you that. Um, materials. On these things, nothing breaks. Like on my masterpieces, let me just think real quick. I never broke anything. I never broke anything. Oh, why I do this? I, I was I was told that I that I did dampen the microphone a little bit on Friday. Sorry about that. <laughs> so uh, paint applications, no chipping, almost no chipping, uh, except the little hug on the side. But the main color doesn't chip. So there's that articulation for the time is, is great. Um, just app crunch is missing and, and, and a few and a few things, but you can you can work around that, you know, like with the with the rocker, you need to put it on the side and stuff. You you can work around there. That works very nice. Engineering uh, for the time, excellent. Uh, you could today, I think today they would they would probably put this instead of this. They would close it and put it with a hinge like on the inside here. This way you could fold it around and close the back of the leg. I could see this somewhere happening, somewhere way down the line with this now being released as 19 plus. Um, robot mode, except for the little hollowness. That smoke screen right there. Alternate mode is perfect. I really think he's perfect. There's nothing you could do better. Uh, the playability is top notch, like fiddling them back and forth super fun and the value for money this is where it gets a little rough because you of course can get a knockoff of this but that it doesn't it's not this you can find this for 35 on ebay i just checked there's also some people that are just crazy and want 230 dollars for him when the 19 plus is around so this is ridiculous otherwise i saw him for around 80 and i think uh 80 when he originally costs uh 100 I think that's great. I think that's great and you have a beautiful representation. So yeah, guys, can't tell you anything else. Like even, even if those clothes don't really open up, you know, you have e details on the inside. Like you, you can open them up, but you need to open up the roof and everything. But there's detail on the inside here, you know, that I enjoy. That is cool. So that's that, man. I can only thank again Dan for this present, man. I'm super happy about him. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this first review of the year and that it was a, a true classic. I think that I think that honors him. I would say it like that. So otherwise, 
I gotta say thanks again for all the subscribers guys I hope you enjoy your stay here hope you have a lot to view uh, a lot of stuff here and for those people that are new I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up please subscribe I would appreciate it this way you will never miss another video of me and otherwise I only say have a nice week have a nice Monday see you next time thanks for watching take care